Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Jordan. We are here in Johnson Valley, California, the birthplace of the Ford Bronco for a super exciting walk around to kick off 2022, and that is with the all new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. Tons of stuff to go over with this vehicle. Ford has put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm gonna tell you about the things we like, the things about we wish maybe were a little different, and give you an overview of what this off-roading beast has to offer. Now this vehicle has been highly anticipated for at least a year. We started seeing spy shots last year, and now we get to see it fully uncamoed in all of its code orange glory. And one of the biggest questions the Bronco community has had is what is going to power this beast? Is it gonna be the five liter V8? Is it gonna be the 3.5 liter V6? Well, no, no to either of those. It is the 3.0 liter V6, and we're gonna take a look under the hood right now. Now Ford has not given us full engine specifications, but they do estimate it'll be above 400 horsepower, which is a sizable increase over at the base Bronco. And what you're gonna notice right off the bat is there's no hood prop to hold it up like you have on the base Bronco. There are struts that hold this hood up, which is nice easy work area, and you'll notice it's also uncovered. Now people have been like, oh, this engine looks ugly, whatever, but if you wanna work on it, if you wanna easily access the engine bay, uh, it's nice to not have a pretty cover over it. Plus, hopefully most of the time you're not looking at it anyway, so a plastic cover would just kind of get in the way. Now, to be honest, yes, we're gonna address the elephant in the room. This is not the engine choice we had hoped for, or most of the Bronco community had hoped for. We, of course, were wanting the five liter V8, which we kind of all knew, knew all along wasn't gonna happen. Uh, but we had hoped maybe they'd bring in the Raptor engine, 3.5 liter V6, that's in uh, F-150 and F-150 Raptor. But no to that either. This powertrain actually comes mostly from Lincoln's. The Aviator uses it and the MKZ use it as well. Uh, and it's made its way over to the Bronco Raptor, which is certainly an interesting uh, choice here. And there's a lot to talk about with this vehicle, both on the exterior and the interior, but we're gonna start up here in the front after talking about the engine. You're gonna notice that the grille is different from the base Bronco, but it's familiar to many of you because it was brought over from the F-150 Raptor. Obviously as the FORD lettering in the front, you got your running lights, three here, one on each mirror because of the width of this vehicle is significantly wider than base Bronco, but we're gonna get into that in a minute. You also have the same Bronco headlights, the upgraded LED lights that you see on base Bronco, but these are amber running lights as opposed to the white LEDs, which is pretty cool. Another nod to the F-150 uh, Raptor heritage. Got your heavy duty modular front bumper, tow hooks up here. These are painted in silver though, as opposed to black, which is a nice touch. And then down here you have your upgraded steel skid plates, which run for the entire underbody length of the vehicle. Now moving up onto the hood here, you're gonna notice the integrated hood vents, made out of molded in color uh, in the color of carbon black. There is gonna be Raptor badging on each side of this, which is really cool. And there's little Easter egg dates on these vents, vent openings right here. So look at these dates and let us know in the comments what you think these dates mean. On the side of each fender, you have these integrated gills or air vents as well, which are gonna be painted in body color, which is really cool. And then these everyone's favorite, the massive fender flares on Bronco Raptor. Now, uh, trust us, we have heard all of your comments on every social media platform imaginable about how much you love these fender flares. They're in molded in color carbon black as well to match this hood vent up here. Uh, and they are very wide. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're squared off a little bit more, but they are wide. Now. Like many of you, this is not my favorite feature, but it is what it is. It does break up the color a little bit. However, Ford, if you're listening, which you probably are, I wish you would offer this either in A, painted to match the body color, or carbon fiber. These in carbon fiber would look really sick. Now I know there's chips and all that stuff, but there's paint protection film and all sorts of fun stuff for that. So please offer these in carbon fiber or painted to match the body color. That would be great. But until then, we're just gonna have to live with these big, big fender flares here. Below the giant fender flares are these. Massive 37 inch BFG KO2 all-terrain tires. This is the biggest tire ever on a production vehicle, which is sick. And it speaks for itself. This fender flare is hip height and I'm 6'1", so you can see just how massive this vehicle stance is. We'll show you in a little bit what it looks like compared to our Bronco Nation uh, Bronco, which is non-Sasquatch Badlands four-door. Now these 37 inch KO2s are gonna be wrapped around two wheel options that Ford is providing you. They're both 17 inch beadlock capable and Ford performance designed wheel options. Now to turn these behemoths, Ford has added an electric power steering rack and housing influenced by the F-150 Raptor, as well as large diameter inner and outer tie rod ends were added to further upgrade Bronco Raptor. Now the suspension has been significantly beefed up as well. The Ford performance team collaborated with Fox to upgrade the high performance off-road stability suspension Haas system with live valve technology. Now this is similar to the F-150 Raptor's position sensitive damping design, but the Raptor Haas 
4.0 system features Fox 3.1 internal bypass semi-active dampers that are uniquely tuned at the front and rear and feature integrated reservoirs up front and remote reservoirs in the rear. Now, suspension height sensors and other sensors at each corner monitor terrain conditions independently hundreds of times every second and adjust suspension tuning accordingly. Now, unique Ford Performance Design control arms have also been added to the front and rear, allowing for up to 13 inches of suspension travel on the front and 14 inches of suspension travel in the back, which is 60 and 40% respectively more suspension travel than the base Bronco. Now, something really cool that's been brought to Bronco Raptor is the integrated rock rails and side steps. Now, obviously, Bronco Raptor sits quite a bit higher off the ground than your base Bronco. So for those of you who have a little bit tougher time getting up into this tall vehicle, Ford has added these nice little steps for you. Now, let's say you're going hardcore off-roading or rock crawling, and these are going to get in your way. They easily unbolt from the rock rails while the rock rails stay bolted to the vehicle. So you have a nice option. You can have the step and rock rail or just the rock rail uh, to ensure you get the most ground clearance when it comes to off-roading. Now something else integrated into this heavy-duty modular front bumper are these rigid pod fog lights which look really cool. Your 360 parking sensors all around the front, of course your Bronco bolts, and then what's also unique is that these end caps unbolt and pop off so you can have the maximum approach angle possible when you're out rock crawling in a beautiful place like Johnson Valley. Now because of the increased size of the fender flares on both on the front and on the back, a piece has been added to the door here which you'll notice not my favorite thing, but it is what it is. Ford says that uh, with all the off-roading you're gonna be doing, the increased track width and the larger tires, uh, rocks could get kicked up. And instead of scratching your paint or your fender flares, uh, they added this nice mech plastic here uh, to kind of deflect the rocks away from your vehicle so you're not scratching or chipping your paint, uh, but you're just damaging these parts, which are much more easily replaceable. Now we all know the Easter egg and the fuel door on base Bronco, but Bronco Raptor has changed it up a little bit with some nods to Ford's racing heritage. So first, you have Rod Hall's Baja winning Bronco from 1969. You have Bronco R back in 2019. We saw Ford re-enter the race circuit and go down to Baja 1000 in that. And then we have the 2022 Bronco Raptor. So nice little Easter egg design change Ford has hidden here uh, in addition to the ones on the hood, on the air vents there. So nice little Easter eggs that Ford continues to put in these Broncos. We'll let you find the others. Now moving around to the back, you're gonna notice first off, different tail lights than standard Bronco. And these are in kind of a split design here. You have your brake lights top and bottom, then your reverse light here in the middle, but you do not lose your uh, blind spot monitoring system, which is great. So you still have your sensor over here to ensure that you're not gonna hit anyone when you're changing lanes in your massive vehicle. Moving around the back, you have the Raptor logo, the Raptor badging here, which looks really cool. And then a full size 37 inch spare tire mounted to the back uh, with the brake light, integrated brake light above. Now this has three lights as well, kind of like the front uh, running light we saw on the grill. And then on the mirrors, you're gonna have those fourth and fifth lights. Uh, so you have the five lights across on the back and the front, much like uh, F-150 Raptor does as well. Now to support this massive 37 inch spare tire, Ford has added an exoskeleton to help support that weight. Now it is accessory ready, designed by Ford Performance. And also on the back, you're gonna notice a matte black bucking Bronco emblem, which is my favorite one that I've seen so far. Now before we hop into the trunk, I do wanna talk about the towing capacity of Bronco Raptor a little bit. It increases by a thousand pounds over the base Bronco program and takes it up to 4,500 pounds. Also adding to the GOAT modes for Bronco Raptor is a new tow haul mode, which is not found on base Bronco. So increased towing capacity and a unique tow haul mode uh, should indicate that the towing experience with Bronco Raptor might be a little nicer than that of base Bronco. Now Bronco Raptor also features true dual exhaust with a first ever to Bronco active valve technology. Near equal length pipes also improve the exhaust note and Bronco Raptor has four selectable exhaust modes, quiet, normal, Baja, and sport. Now, because of all the increased capability that has been built into Bronco Raptor, Ford really had to beef up the frame a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna see increased support, both on the B and C pillar. You can see this bow design right here, which adds 50% between this and that B pillar support, adds 50% increase in torsional rigidity over the base Bronco, allowing, allowing you to do more for longer uh, without putting added stress on the Bronco Raptor frame. Now Ford and Ford Performance really took their time and put a lot of effort into beefing up the underside of this vehicle from the full body skid plates to the increased beefiness of the axles and the suspension, the tie rods, the, uh, the steering rack. Everything uh, under this vehicle has been beefed up to match its capability and its performance. Uh, two big components of those are the front and rear axles, uh, which we're gonna talk about now. 
Now the axles are competition level Ford Performance developed axles. These are the same axles also used on the Bronco DR race truck and further deliver on the Ultra 4 Inspiration. The solid rear axle is upgraded to a semi-float Dana 50 Heavy 2D Advantech with a 235 millimeter ring gear, while the Dana 44 Advantech front drive unit includes upgraded half shafts with a 210 millimeter ring gear. These are upgraded front and rear axles increase the track width by 8.6 inches over the base Bronco so for an even more sure-footed confidence. Larger front and rear drive shafts support increased wheel torque and Bronco Raptor also runs with a minimum ground clearance of 13.1 inches, 4.8 inches more than a base four-door model. Now moving on to the interior, there's a ton to talk about, but I first want to start with the goat mode style and the transfer case selector. So an advanced 4x4 system with three modes includes a higher capacity clutch designed to withstand uh, high performance desert racing events. Um, and the upgraded transfer case also features a 3.06 4x4 low ratio, which gives you an up to 67.7 to 1 crawl ratio. Now, in addition to the tow haul mode and the uniquely tuned Baja mode, you're also just going to get a generic off-road goat mode, which is different from base Bronco. So that takes Bronco Raptor up to a total of seven goat modes. You have normal, slippery, tow haul, sport, off-road, rock crawl, and Baja. Now, due to Bronco Raptor's more performance-oriented nature, all of that carries over to the interior as well, uh, giving you a very performance-feeling interior. That starts right here with the steering wheel. You have a leather wrap steering wheel, center mounted. You do have this orange action to, so you can keep track of your center line. You have code orange stitching around and carbon fiber accents where the plastic trim is on regular Bronco. Down here at the bottom, you also have the Raptor logo, paddle shifters, and four new buttons down here on the bottom of the steering wheel for the exhaust note, the suspension, and R button for your customized uh, drive mode and then your steering feel as well. So you can access these controls and the feel of your Bronco Raptor much easier because you don't have to dig into the menus. Speaking of menus and the gauge cluster, Bronco Raptor gets an all new fully digital gauge cluster not found on base Bronco. Now it looks really cool, tons of information. The screen totally changes with a unique avatar for each goat mode and it provides you all the real-time information you need for desert running. Now throughout the entire interior, you are gonna find code orange accents everywhere from the stitching on the drive selector with these carbon fiber accents. You have code orange detailing here on the goat mode style, stitching on the seats, code orange seat belts, and much, much more. Now, base Bronco Raptor is going to come with black onyx marine grade vinyl seats and wash up floors like we see available on the black diamond and badlands trim or owners can upgrade to this optional leather perforated neo suede seat here with neo suede inserts leather wrapped bolsters headrest code orange and gray accent stitching you're also going to see Raptor imprinted up here on the top bolster and these seats just look a lot more meatier they feel much more like the f-150 Raptor seats to really hug you in uh, when you're running through the desert as I mentioned the steering wheel is leather wrapped it is chunkier uh, for more grip and more control off-road and you're also going to have these magnesium paddle shifters and a lot of the high touch points are going to be in low gloss carbon so down here you have them on this gear selector and you're also going to find them on the grad handles on the left and the right. The code orange is carried through the seat belts, the stitching, the goat mode style, in the Bronco lettering here, the vent chiclets, and you can get an optional vinyl wrapped IP topper as well to just add to the premium feel of this vehicle. Coming across the top, you have all of your familiar hero switches, your stabilizer bar disconnect, which can be activated at a significantly higher speed than base Bronco can. You're gonna have your front and rear lockers, your trail turn assist, your traction control off, and your hazard buttons. Now you will see the 12 inch touch screen here. Bronco Raptor does come standard with high package. You can opt up to the Lux package, which allows you to have the B&O sound system and a few more human centered pieces of technology like the uh, adaptive cruise control and a few other convenience features like that. You do have your six aux switches still up here, your visors, your molden color hardtop with the sound deadening headliner. And then over the B pillar here, you can see the added support that we talked about in the back. A few more unique details for Bronco Raptor is that Raptor is stamped right into the center console, which is pretty cool. Also here where you have the regular badge uh, for the base Bronco, you do have a Ford Performance badge with the Raptor grill showing on the front. Another little cool touch is the start and stop button, the push button start on base Bronco. It lights up in kind of a cool ice blue. On this one, it actually lights up in amber to match the headlights on the front of the car. 
Now moving on to the back seats here, nothing much has changed other than that it is a bigger step to get in, but I still have plenty of knee room at 6'1", plenty of headroom here with the mic top, and the seats back here do carry over that Neo suede leather perforated insert and the leather bolstering. You can see here the code orange seatbelts, which are really cool. You still have your Molly boards on the back and the elastics in both the door and the back seat nets have been changed to code orange. We have cup holders, it's a miracle. Uh, so the cup holder ratio is four to five, but I guess if the cup holders are down here, you're probably not gonna have a person sitting here anyway. So everybody gets a cup holder, it's a miracle. On the back of this, you also get your AC 110 outlet, household style, 400 watt max, your USB A and C, and then your one touch up and down window controls for the rear as well. Now, as we said, we were gonna show you the size difference between the stock base Bronco and the Bronco Raptor. Now this is our Bronco Nation Bronco, four door Badlands, non-Sasquatch on the 33 inch tires. And you can see, it looks like a dwarf compared to Bronco Raptor on 37. So as we said, the track width is nearly 10 inches wider. It sits significantly taller. The suspension travel is 60% more in the front. 40% more in the rear. Uh, and all around, this is just a much beefier vehicle. And for the price difference of less than 20 grand, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here with this one. So I'm certainly gonna try and get one, and I'm sure many of you will too. So uh, Godspeed, best of luck. They're probably wondering, how can I get one of these? And we've heard plenty of comments of how dare Ford build a new vehicle when they can't even get me mine. Well, the good news is they're not building this in lieu of yours. Most Bronco Raptors are gonna to go to existing reservation holders that are already in line, and they will be able to swap their current build for a Bronco Raptor. So most of you should have gotten an email if you were eligible to click, yes, I'm interested. So if you wanna do that, make sure you go check your email and opt in. So no, Ford is not pulling production away from your regular Broncos to build this. It is all gonna be built at MAP together, and it will go to those who have been patiently waiting now for yes, we know, the day one, hour one order holders. You still will have a chance to get one of these. Pricing starts at $69,995, including a destination and delivery fee, so just a hair under 70 grand. It will start as a model year 22. Orders begin in March, deliveries begin this summer. It is only available in a four-door option with the MIG hardtop and the single powertrain, so do keep that in mind. And if this is something you're interested in, call your dealer, let them know you'd like to get on the list, and best of luck, because I know thing, these things are going to go quick. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really hoped you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the all new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. Leave us a like, leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what you thought. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the Bronco Nation YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And if you're not following us on all of our social media platforms, that is the best way to get updates as well. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, we're probably on it. If you're not already and you wanna become a member, you can head over to thebronconation.com and join us today. And we also have a full line of brand new Bronco Raptor merchandise. So go pick yourself up a hat or a shirt. All those products will be linked in the description. Until next time, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next video, bye.